I'm joined now by Dr. Richard Mose. Dr. Mose, how are you today? I'm fine. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, tell me a little bit about the um, importance of early diagnosis with regards to Alzheimer's. Well, we now know from a lot of studies that the brain changes that cause Alzheimer's disease happen several years, probably 10 or 15 years before patients actually get symptoms. So the biology and the, the brain damage is beginning much before patients begin to get symptoms. But it's very hard to pick that up um, because the symptoms at the beginning are very subtle, so it's hard to uh, identify these people. And as we shift to focusing on the early diagnosis, how is that going to affect the clinical development process? Well, we would like to be able to treat and test our drugs in patients at the earliest stages of the disease, but identifying those patients is difficult. We're hopeful that some of these new biomarkers like brain imaging of amyloid will help with that process, but at the same time, the symptoms are also very subtle, so changes in symptoms are very difficult to measure at the beginnings of the disease, and that's a challenge for everybody in this industry. And as a researcher, how can patient advocacy groups uh, support you in your role? Well, the patient advocates are the ones who really drive the research. They're the ones who have convinced government agencies and the pharmaceutical industry that this is an area willing to uh, invest in, that this is an area where they should invest. They also are key in defining what are the expectations for treatment. In other words, what are they going to value if we can produce that end result? They are the ones who have to tell us. Dr. Mose, thank you so much. Thank you.